Hello guys and welcome to my channel. My name is Jesper Offersen and uh, today we are going to talk about vitamin C. Or we are more likely uh, going to talk about uh, how you can make your own vitamin C serum. And uh, I have shown you that uh, before, uh, but that was a serum where I added um, other ingredients. So more vitamins and uh, some uh, amino acids uh, as well. And you can see that video up here. Uh, what I will show you today is uh, an easy way to make uh, a vitamin C serum, which is um, fresh every time you use it. Um, and it's a way that you can make it uh, yourself, so it's a, a DIY thing. But it's not one of those DIY things where you are making a, a solution and then you keep it um, for a week and you wrap a tin foil around it in order to shield it from the sun and all that sort of things. Because I feel that if you put a vitamin C into a... Um, an aqueous uh, solution, uh, then uh, the water will uh, have an effect on the vitamin C and uh, after a little while it will go more and more uh, yellow. And uh, if you would like to avoid uh, any sort of um, orangey strikes uh, on your face, it is important that uh, your vitamin C is as um, fresh as uh, possible and that you don't add more than uh, your skin can absorb. So. Uh, one thing you can do is just to take a vitamin C and add a little bit of water and then put it on your face. Now that is a little bit difficult. Um, the vitamin C that I use is a, a vitamin C called a magnesium ascorbate and it looks like this. And uh, that is a less acidic version of a vitamin C. So it should not irritate uh, your skin but always uh, go slowly and try a little bit, uh, but it should not, uh, because it is, uh, when you look it up, it has it says that um, magnesium ascorbate should be at a pH level of uh, 7, uh, but uh, if you drink it, it's, um, it's really acidic actually. Um, so what uh, you do is that um, you take a, a little container, and uh, I had this little container here, which is um, my lip balm that I have used up. So I clean that little container here. And um, what I do is that I simply add a vitamin C powder into it, and then I mix it with something else. And that is uh, the important part in order to make it easy to distribute uh, the vitamin C serum on your face. And uh, what I'm adding to it is uh, something called metuchel or methyl cellulose, and it looks like this. This is a, a food grade version, so that is something you can put uh, in um, cocktails and in ice cream and stuff like that if you like to um, make it a little bit more thick. And you don't need a lot of it because it will thicken uh, quite easily. And uh, if you uh, just leave it, then it will uh, be kind of like really gel-like. And um, what I did was I tried a little bit to see how much should I use and uh, I ended up using and I just uh, mix it in this little container here shake it up and uh, then I should uh, put a little uh, mark on it so I could see that it was no more my lip balm because it did happen that I spilled some of it all over when I mistook it for the real one. So I need to put a little bit of a marker on it. But uh, what you do, uh, one thing I can just say is that if you wonder about uh, metu cellulose, what that does in um, cosmetics, then uh, I have a product here, which you might know, that is a micellar gel wash. And uh, if you look at the uh, ingredients list, it has uh, an ingredient called hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose. So that is a different sort of uh, cellulose, uh, but it does uh, the same thing. It makes the um, liquid in here more thick. And uh, often you will find uh, cellulose in the sunscreens as well. Uh, so they will form a, or they are supposed to form a sort of a, a film over your face. But as your face is, generally a little bit moist, it will never really form that uh, film. Uh, so it's more like if you used uh, methyl cellulose uh, as a hair gel, uh, it will stiffen, uh, but as soon as you add a little bit of water, um, so that could be sweat from your skin, not in your hair as such, but if you are having it on your skin, then it will become um, gel-like again. So uh, in this one here, which is the Anthelius 30, uh, which I normally use as my 
sunscreen, uh, they have used uh, something called, um, it down here, hydroxyethylcellulose. So again, that's a, a different uh, form of uh, cellulose, but it is used in food and it is used in uh, cosmetics, but in different uh, sorts. And if you're using it for food, it has to be a food grade one, which uh, this one happens to be. And uh, where did I get it? Well, I got it from a, a company called a Special, Spe specialing, uh, special Ingredients, CO.UK, uh, looks like this. And I'll put a link to it down below. Um, to show you how uh, easy it is uh, to use, just if you're using uh, water, you just simply take a little bit of it. You don't need a whole lot. You just need a little bit. And yes, you will not know exactly how strong the concentration is, but as this one is not the uh, very acidic version, then uh, the chances are that your skin will tolerate it much uh, better is a uh, way greater. Uh, and I have, I'm using this and uh, I don't really have uh, any issues with it uh, at all. Uh, but if you have a more sensitive skin, uh, I don't have sensitive skin, but if you have, uh, go slowly on it. But as I said, this is not the very acidic version, which uh, the normal um, vitamin C uh, would be, which would be the ascorbic acid. And then you just um, put it uh, on your face. Now, I would say that if you just use it like this, uh, you maybe would like to use a little bit more uh, of the uh, methyl cellulose in order to give it a bit more um, gel-like uh, consistency. But again, you can try and see how much uh, you would like. Rather use a little bit too little and then add a little bit so you don't waste too much of the vitamin C or the magnesium ascorbate. Now, um, when you are dissolving the powder, you will feel that depending on which uh, magnesium ascorbate you are using, and in my case, I'm using this one from a company called Now, uh, it will be uh, more or less um, grainy. So if it's a lot very grainy, I mean, I would not recommend it, but the one I use here is relatively fine, but still you will feel that there are some grains in it and you obviously don't put it on your face until those uh, grains have uh, dissolved uh, completely. And if you just use a uh, methyl cellulose and the, the magnesium ascorbate, um, as I said, you might use a little bit more um, of the methyl cellulose and a little bit more water because this will sink into your hand really quickly. And if you look at my hands now, they are dry again. So what I do is that I use it with uh, another serum that I have made, and that is uh, the serum that I have made with uh, the um, sugar called uh, ribose. And you can see a video about ribose and the serum that I made uh, up here. And that one has um, something else in it that will give a little bit of um, slip as well. And that is... Uh that uh, you can see again uh, in the video up here how I, I use that and that is from the company called uh, Jaro. Um, what it does is that when I have the solution here um, which is obviously it's a DIY solution um, it has a little bit more of a slip to it so if I again I just and this one just needs to be shaken up because there will be something that will fall to the bottom which I explain in the video up there why it does that and how you can get rid of it if you want to um, open it first and then I again add a little bit of the vitamin C and then I take this one here so now you will both have the methyl cellulose in my hand here and you will have a little bit of the hyaluronic acid in this one here and together they really give a, a nice slip so I use kind of like an amount like this if you can see that and then that is the amount I would use anyway. And when you have the hyaluronic acid in it as well, you definitely get uh, much more of a slip. So uh, I can recommend uh, using it together with um, something like the ribose um, serum because it has the um, hyaluronic acid in it. And now you can see it becomes much more uh, shiny and wet for a much uh, longer time. But still, as you have added the uh, methyl cellulose, it will start to become more... Um, gel like as if uh, you have a gel that you're putting in your hair and it starts to stiffen up. 
so um, you have a little time uh, to uh, make sure that the, the granules in this uh, product here from the uh, vitamin C is uh, small enough so that you can gently start to put it on your face and yes they will uh, as you're putting it on your face they will uh, start to um, dissolve the, the last bit of it um, but uh, you don't want to scratch your face um, but it it i mean now i can't really feel uh, the grains anymore so um, this would be ready to be put uh, on my face so yeah this was uh, a relatively easy way of making a vitamin C serum, which is uh, easy to put uh, on your face. And uh, you could obviously, as some other people are saying, just using um, vitamin C and then water. But that is a little bit difficult to put on your face. And you don't really want um, a lot of uh, vitamin C going everywhere, like splashing here and there, because what you will very soon see is that uh, where it lands the next day it will be uh, orange and you will get uh, orange spots uh, on your clothing and stuff like that it can be washed off but uh, you will get uh, those um, dots here and there oh, that is what happened when i do it like that so the good thing is that you can use uh, nematode cellulose and that will really uh, help with that uh, issue now uh, one thing uh, as i would like to say is that uh, if you're using more vitamin C than your skin can take up then the chances are that it will just be on the top of your skin and there it might be uh, mixed with your cream and if your cream doesn't really sink in well uh, that will uh, give um, vitamin C on top of your skin which uh, does not sink into your skin and when it does not sink into your skin it will just sit there on your skin and uh, oxidize and uh, what will happen is that um, it will turn orange so you will get the same sort of glow as if you were using a uh, self tanner and can you just wash that away if you see that it's becoming orange no because then uh, your skin has already been tainted and you have to wait until it um, naturally wears off and that might take a little while so rather uh, use a little to begin with and then uh, see how it goes if you become orange you use uh, too much uh, of this stuff more than your skin can take up so yes this was uh, just a little video about how you can easily make a vitamin c and um Hopefully yeah, you like it and hopefully it will work for you. And uh, it's an easy and cheap way uh, to get uh, vitamin C that is surely always fresh. Thank you for watching. And if you would like to see more of this sort of videos, please subscribe, hit the bell and do all those things you must do in order to be notified when I upload more of these sort of videos, which I will upload later. Thank you for watching. See you. Bye.